some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. As if Katie Kidman herself wasn't weird enough, we've got one of her sycophants out now following up on a previous audit that she did and was recently convicted for. And he goes by the moniker Sheep Show. I would definitely call him a sheep if he follows Katie Kidman. But let me tell you something. If you think Katie Kidman was bad, this guy is just as bad and if not worse. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy this sheep show. On November the 14th of 2022, I went to Isaac Miller Middle School to do a follow-up interview and to ask the principal some questions, not just related to the incident of Katie Kidman's arrest, but also I wanted to get information on school policies regarding filming on campus. You know, if you would take two minutes and stop being a sheep and licking O'Shell's boots, you might be able to find that it is not legal in California to go into a school and start filming. But please, carry on with your stupidity. They locked the door and they're closing the blinds. Huh. All right, I guess I'll wait for them to reopen. I heard, I was walking up, I heard the door click and I can see the blinds closing, so maybe they're closing for lunch. Let's see if anybody's in there. I'll wait for them to open. Five minutes later. Hey. Go ahead and come on in. Hi. You have no lawful business being here. Unless you have a question, you can go see our student supervisor at Sousa Center. Wait, 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 I slow down. students on cancel, campus. Slow down. Can I ask what you're doing here? Slow down, slow down, slow down. No, I would, I would like to ask what you're doing here. Oh, wait, slow down. I'm, I'm really... I would like to ask what you're doing here. Okay. And if but... you have no lawful business being here, I would like to ask you to please leave. Okay, you're not letting me speak. You're talking over... You're asking me a question and then you're talking. Mm -hmm. So slow down a second, okay? Let me ingest what you're telling me because you just said a lot of words and I'm really slow. I have a ninth grade education. So just give me one second. Let me process what you just said. Okay. I don't think it's the ninth grade education that's to blame. I think it's just that you're naturally stupid. So I'm born again and I'm with Sheep Show. Are you listening? I'm listening. Okay. So I'm born again and I'm with Sheep Show Media and I'm here to speak to the principal. The principal's not here right now. Okay. So then how about an assistant principal? I'm the assistant principal. May I get your name, please, for the record? My name is Kenny Durbin. Thank you, Kenny Durbin. Durbin, right? And again, if you have no lawful business being here, I would like to ask you to leave, please. Okay, so again, you interrupted me when I, I was not. just getting ready to explain to you what my lawful business here was. So you have a student here. I'm sorry. Did you ask me if I had a student here or did you ask me if I had lawful business? Again, you're going too fast for me. Because first you said lawful business, and now you're lawful asking if I have a student here. If you have a student here. That's the only lawful business that can... There's other lawful business. Okay, but... so... Okay, go ahead. So I would like to ask you to leave if you have no lawful business here. Okay, thank you. Okay. Have a good day. You have a good day. I will. You heard the man. You have no lawful business there. You don't have a child that attends that school. You shouldn't be filming on the property anyway because of California law. So go away before you end up like your good buddy Katie Kidman. A little longer than a few minutes later. If you're going to be rude, Thank you. I'm going to respond to, in kind. You've been asked to I leave. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. We're going to make a phone to call to the police okay. so that you're aware. Okay. So can we continue this dialogue? Because I have a question nope, the, regarding We're not having asked any to conversation. Oh, You've been okay. asked to leave because Several you have times. no lawful Well, I'm asking for clarification. For I'm asking for clarification. Do you have a student here? I'm asking for clarification. Correct. I'm asking you a question I'm for your clarification. You do you have a I'm student here? I'm asking you a question. Okay. You do not have any lawful business here. I'm asking for clarification. Oh, okay. So, according to them, I don't have any lawful business here. Huh. But, that is really strange because I have the penal code in my pocket and it describes what lawful business is 
and I'm trying to get clarification from them and they're refusing to give me clarification so I'm kind of confused oh there you are again so again can I get clarification on something regarding something that you told me you're gonna ignore me because I have the penal code right here in my pocket and you are an educator you just called the principal uneducated you you are the one that just declared that you had a ninth grade education. That principal has significantly more education than you will ever have with regards to education and the education system. You stand there with a straight face and say that, and you have no idea of how much work someone like that has put into to get into the position they're in right now. The amount of hours they've had to spend in university classrooms studying the field, studying the ethics, studying the laws regarding education. You, sir, are a complete imbecile. I need clarification because I have the penal code that you're that, that, that you're trespassing me on in my pocket Good. and it specifically describes what lawful business is Correct. and I believe that I'm here on lawful business but Can you're you telling me that, that I'm that not business is then yes okay. I'm here to ask questions of the administrative staff I came directly from mm -hmm. the street to the office mm -hmm. I contacted that gentleman who identified himself as the vice president mm -hmm. I asked to speak to the principal of the, the school okay. he said he said the principal of the school was not here Correct. okay so I came she here is now oh thank you you're the principal yes. and your name is my name is Kathy Blackburn oh okay thank you thank you so but I don't have to answer your questions so I'm asking you if you don't have a student here I'm asking that you leave and that if you cannot leave then you are considered trespassing and the police have been called so that they can then address the issue if you okay. have a student on campus that we need to be concerned about that you have business to do with here regarding our school right. you are welcome to be here right but you have a camera on. I've not been asked permission to be videotaped. If you have caught any video of our students, then you are outside the law, federal law. And so it's my job to protect the school and our students. And so I've asked you to go. You did not speak kindly to my APU, who was just very direct. You might not have liked what he was asking or saying. It was very direct. You've been asked to go. Is there a reason you cannot leave, sir? Yes, I'd be. You're the principal. It's your school. If you're asking me to leave, and you have a lawful authority to ask me to leave, I'm gone. I'll be happy to leave. Okay, I have the you. utmost respect for you and your school. The thank problem you. is, is that I'm not understanding what you're saying is lawful business because I you, just asked. Can, may I finish my statement? I'm sorry. Yes, of course. Okay. You asked me if I had a student mm -hmm. here, and I did not respond to that question. But I asked the uh, uh, assistant president, pr assistant principal. Yes. Okay, I asked the assistant principal if there was any other business that could be conducted here other than having a student here, and his answer to me was yes. So. Okay, but if you state your business, then it's not unpredictable. Instead, you're acting in an unpredictable manner, making it a very unsafe environment for those of us, me, who's responsible for everyone on this campus at this moment. If you would like to state your business and ask what that is, I'm not sure why it would, requ would require recording us without our permission. So I have stated again, I have not had given you permission to record me. I'm asking you to please stop recording. And I'm also going to ask that you do not upload it to any social media as I choose that as my personal right to not be a part of. So if you would like to honor those things, I can answer your questions around school business. But you have not stated your purpose for being here. You have been asked to go. Okay, You've well said I can- You you don't have business or you do. For the purposes of time, I'm just gonna fast forward to the uh end where the police actually show up because this imbecile is just going to continue to talk in circles the whole time many unbearable hours later hi brett, hi, brett. i'm born again how are hi. you nice to meet you good to meet you sir um, i had a conversation with the principal there was a small concern about whatever you are here doing they were made aware that what you are doing is a constitutionally protected right other than that uh, they just request that if you come onto the campus again that you have some sort of lawful uh, reason to do so um, other than that, they don't want you there. Well, Brett, cool. since you're giving me the admonition, uh, I have a question for you, sir. It's a question for you, okay? Mm -hmm. 
because we went round and around the merry-go-round over there with yeah. what's lawful business, okay? Yes, I have the penal code in my pocket. Yeah. The penal code, the statutory language of the penal code says, anything you're doing on campus is lawful unless it's unlawful. I don't have any intention of going back on the property again, but I want you to know that I believe that I have a statutory right based on the plain language of the penal code to go back on that property and ask the questions that I need answered from the principal and the assistant principal, I think that that is lawful business. Now, of course, click, click, let the courts decide that's what the courts are for, okay? But I'm just telling you that I believe that I have a statutory right to go back on the property and ask the questions that I need answered. Could I respond to that? Absolutely, sir. Okay. Um, were, was your original reasoning for being here uh, in relation to an ongoing court litigation case? I, I had questions regarding an arrest that was made here previously, and in that video... Hang on. Okay, go ahead. Hang on a second. Yeah. Um, so she told me about the, your conversation, at least from her side of the story, uh, that she wasn't able to comment because it's on you. So other than that, uh, they said that you might have been causing a disturbance on the campus. That in and of itself is unlawful. Yeah. So they're saying that if you come onto the campus again, cause a disturbance, then your business is unlawful. Therefore, you are not allowed to be on it. Does that kind of make sense? What I'm trying. No, to it convey? absolutely does not. Because the disturbance well, part are you confused about, so I can a disturbance has to be a disturbance. You can't say you're causing yeah. a disturbance because you're asking me questions that I don't down like. The campus because oh boy, this guy's a real legal genius. Did he study under Chile de Castro? <laughs> of whatever transpired is a disturbance. You cannot convert constitutionally protected activity into criminal activity because you don't like it doesn't what they are doing. It constitutionally protected once you enter the, once you're not on public land anymore, right? If you go into the school and cause a disturbance in the school, right? What part of that is protected in the constitution? Again, again, you, you keep using the word causing a disturbance, okay? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When you're causing a disturbance, you have to actually be causing a disturbance. Have you locked have you down the school with precautions the, of your own? At the penal code for what causes a disturbance. I don't know if there's so any uh, anything in the education code, but I, I know 415. Right. Yeah. 415, 415 is, is unreasonable nuisance. noise with the intent. It's, it's a nuisance. It's a nuisance of any kind. It's a public to, nuisance. And so we can't be annoyed as public servants right. um, by the law, but if a neighbor is complaining of whatever reason, for whatever reason, your music, just for an example, right, being too loud, um, then we have a duty to go over there and at least ask the person. Now whatever, you got me totally confused. So there's a there's a disturbance. He's giving and an example. I'm just giving you an example of. So someone else is annoyed or disturbed by it, yeah. and that constitutes a disturbance. So just for clarification, if I stand right here where I'm standing and I say, Jesus Christ is Lord, and somebody's offended by that, and they call you and they say, I'm disturbing them, I'm going to go to jail for disturbing the peace? So you're using an example of where you're on public property. Yeah. The example we're talking about, you're not on public property. Is this a private school? It is not. But if you go into the administration building, right? Does it become, a, does it become private if I go in there? No, but it does create a, a, a nuisance on their campus to where they have to shut down the school and lock it down. But still, you, time, on. place, and, and manner. I and was that, not anywhere. Hang on. And that, in and of itself, time, place, and manner is unlawful, right? Because now you're you. now you're disrupting the school business. Well, I, that is against it. Well, respectfully, uh, Brett, um, I disagree with you 100. percent Well, I'm just gonna stop it right there because he doesn't go any further. There is no rest. He's allowed to leave on his own accord, but he is not allowed to come back. Essentially, he's trespassed.